Frauds, Buckos, Bounties. Yo, Bucko, id Zero, come back to you with another figure review. Today we have the Marvel Legends Contest of Champion Shing Chi Wave Civil Warrior. That's a little too much again, but <laughs> these names are never gonna get easy. Yeah, we love the Marvel Legends names, but anyways, this guy is freaking awesome. He's basically a Captain America with an Iron Man suit, and you know. Basically, there was a big ass war in his universe, and, and Captain America or Steve Rogers fought Iron Man in that universe and ended up killing him. And he realized after that big war is a giant, like basically a giant civil war. After he killed Iron Man, that the whole war was pointless. And why did he kill his best friend? You know, they used to be like really good friends and stuff. So he vowed he would. He would try to use Tony's technology to go stop the war, and that's what he's doing here. And this figure looks awesome. Now, I absolutely love Iron Man figures in general, but I also love my Captain America. And yeah, it's gonna look really good in this Iron Legion hollow armor things I got going on. So let's go ahead and check out this box. We got Civil Warrior, Contest of Champions, really cool. Game Reverse logo inside the box, beautiful artwork back the packaging an alternate earth ravaged by civil war captain america assumes the mantle of civil warrior very nice art and he is going to be number five so he's going to have the dr jekyll's mr hyde face <laughs> as nurk like to say dr jekyll's anyways contest of champions on top bottom of the box unreadables and let's get the civil warrior out of the packaging and here he's out of the packaging and oh my gosh this guy is looking awesome I had to play around with him for a couple minutes, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories, and we'll go ahead and dive into this figure. Of course, he comes with the Mr. Hyde Dr. Jekyll's face. <laughs> this thing is looking pretty uh, ugly, but honestly, that's really good for them, that they're able to make it look so unique, so realistic. That's pretty interesting. Get a close-up of his face. Now, originally I was thinking I might be able to get this build figure, but um, after recent events, I have no idea, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe we will, but that still requires me getting a couple more characters from this wave. So, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, but stay tuned for that if that ever happens. Then his second accessory, and honestly, probably one of the coolest accessories any freaking Captain America comes with is his arc reactor shield. Look at that. His like repulsor shield. This thing is so cool. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. Now I wanted to see the first thing I checked on the back to see if it was a different mold. Now I only do I do only have the one Captain America shield. So this is the gamer verse shield. But I checked to see in the back if it was a different mold. And uh, it's looks different if you know if this is from anything else let me know I think this is a completely new mold though I'm not digging how small this little clip is here though but yeah this um, along with all the other shields this always causes a problem with all the collectors in the community and all the youtubers and stuff because this is small at break so they look to be trying to fix this with I I'm not sure they didn't really show it off too well they were just like, oh, we got a completely new shield with a completely new thing. So hopefully they figured out a way to solve this problem with the Sam Wilson uh, Captain America that's coming out. That one's going to be awesome. That's probably that and Wanda are my most anticipated Marvel Legends this year. And you can go ahead and just clip this on here. Oh, that was a little sketch, but that fits. That's not too bad. That's actually... A nicer fit than the game reverse cap screw you man but yeah that looks really for oh my god I can just imagine I think there was like a two-pack with these guys um, for the three and three-quarter inch that um, Nurk IRL saw and he's like they already made this why are you buying it and I'm like cuz those are three and three-quarter or whatever the six inch that was garbage and whatever anyways there's a side pack that came with the little um blast effect that came out of the repulsor and honestly that would, that would have been really cool to have here but yeah this is the only accessory 
um, but it does look really freaking good on him. It definitely completes the look to an already amazing figure. Speaking of which, we're just going to go ahead and dive right into him. Oh yeah, and I, I should notice note that on the back, that was one of the first things I checked. He doesn't have a peg hole here, but honestly, if he did, it would trade away some very nice detail he has here. We're just going to start getting into this figure right here, but yeah, you got a very nice kind of like arc repulsor tech. Oh my god, okay. Anxiety is what the shield is causing right now. But you got a very nice repulsor whatever arc reactor thing on the back here very freaking cool then of course you got the arc reactor star that's so freaking cool and a couple lights on the chest again awesome and then you got your head here and this head sculpt is freaking beautiful I love the A here it's done in that nice silver it's done actually I want to say it's a different silver than what we see on the body uh -huh. It's painted on silver, okay. That's what it is. And then you got silver from the mold or whatever. I don't know, this looks really freaking nice. Then you got the dark silver in here. So it's a mixture of a couple different silvers and blues, but yeah, this is looking freaking awesome. Then you got a very nice textured shoulders with the red line. Very cool. Getting back to the back of him. He has a very nice textured suit, and then this kind of thing going down here. So it looks like whatever position you pose him in, it's the same continued line like that. I like that a lot. Got your, yeah, just ever. there's so many textures and details on this, it's almost like too much to handle. <laughs> then your arms are pretty armored. These looks freaking awesome. First thing I noticed were these elbow pads, which are freaking dope. Um, let me go to the other side, because I was already messing with the other side more. I mean, look at those elbow pads. Those are freaking cool. I like those a lot. Yeah, that's that's freaking awesome. It really gets rid of that kind of like blotchy thing that some of these uh, figures have going on with their elbows. Of course, I don't have any here that would have that. Except cap? No. Yeah, no. But it's a very it's a very good elbow piece. It just prevents you from going straight down with that arm, which isn't really a problem here because I feel like you're never going to pose him just like in a boring pose. You're always going to pose him like ready to fight, you know, or something. <laughs> Come at me, you buckaroo. Then you got this awesome belt, which honestly, um, this is glued in here, but this is a very nice belt. Honestly, this is something I would use on like a G.I. Joe class fight or something. This looks really freaking good right here. And then you get pants here they have that very nice texture still going on the kind of like very net texture very cool red line then your knee pads again very cool feature knee pads oh I should talk about the gloves they do have this like silver kind of effect going on it doesn't work that well over the red for some reason but yeah it is there um, it's not the most noticeable thing it ever it's the paints coming off but whatever your D's yeah, and then the I just noticed the knee pads kind of go into the the leg where they have like another kind of pad thing, so it kind of looks layered. That's really freaking cool. Then you got some red here for the peg. Very interesting. These boots look really good. I'm sure we've seen these boots somewhere before. But yeah, overall this figure is freaking awesome. Um, I this is definitely a pickup, so shouldn't have a hard time finding him. Uh, he's in like the half of the wave that actually got big releases for some reason they released uh, Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi and Iron Man and then uh, Wenwu and then they released it. Wenwu and Civil Warrior kind of got like the same amount of releases so I think it was like half a case for each I don't know it's ridiculous that they did that but I'm sure you'll be able to find them um, I haven't seen any death dealers in the wild I've only seen one of the chick so whatever kind of annoying but anyways we'll get into articulation so I was disappointed about one thing on this figure and we'll get in that in a second but you have a hinge that goes up to a ball joint at the head so you go up that far down that far and then, psh, yeah up that far like I said bam bam pretty decent articulation here it's not the worst thing ever then 
uh, there is no butterfly joints, but it does look like there's a spot for butterfly joints, which is really freaking annoying to me. So that sucks, but you do have hinges swivel, the shoulder, there is some red under here that I forgot to talk about. I'm sure that will come off if you pose it too much, but that's yeah, very cool. Man, I really wish you had that freaking butterfly joint, but yeah. Um, you got bicep swivels, you got your double jointed elbow, which <laughs> this armor piece is pretty stiff so it doesn't like to cooperate, but whatever. Ah, QC. <laughs> and you got a hinge swivel at the wrist. This one goes left and right. I'm assuming the other one does the same. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Then you got your ab crunch, ab crunch, mega flexible. Then you got your torso swivel, which thank God is hidden by the belt. That's that's see that's what they need to do more belts and stuff. Belts will automatically take that issue away from me. That's what I hate the most is the the swivel. It just doesn't look good. Then your legs go forward this far, back not that much out to the side then you got thigh swivels very nice thick thighs double jointed knees which do not want to go anywhere uh, yeah, his calves are so massive and his thighs that he can't go anywhere so uh, you really you really only gonna be able to get that far that's crazy then you have a no boot swivel that sucks, but you have your double ball joint, which so yeah, you can move the ball joint around, and it's on a hinge and a ball, a hinge and swivel. So, got interesting amount of articulation here for the forward-facing pin for rocker, but yeah, that's that's about it. Let's go ahead and get this guy onto the battlefield. Now we're going to show him off next to some other figures. So here he is next to the Avengers game, Gamerverse, Iron Man, and the AI Stark. Again, my camera hates that yellow, but if you want to know more about that, go check out that video. And here he is next to Infinity War Bucky and Gamerverse, Avengers game, Captain America. And here he is next to a Black Series Stormtrooper and Lord Vader. And as always, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker, and on his left, old left limbs. Hey, right, and this figure is looking pretty freaking sweet. Um, <laughs> I definitely, it's funny, I definitely think my two favorite figures from this Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi wave, Shangri-La wave are the Iron Man and this Civil Warrior. And honestly, I'm not sure which one I like more, but I still need to pick up uh, Shang-Chi and all the rest I'll do that eventually but that's a story for another time but yeah these guys are definitely standouts they're really good figures and honestly I'm really excited for the MCU wave of figures so make sure you hit that like and subscribe for that one um, don't expect to see any Marvel content on here for the next week because we are transitioning into Star Wars so if you like Star Wars at all go ahead and hit that like and subscribe because we got a pretty big week plan just like I'm sure everyone else does for May the 4th. I'm going to be teaming up with Nurk IRL, but why am I announcing that here? This is a Marvel video. So anyways, you could bring him in warm or you could bring him in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.